Hey y'all, Papa here. Well, I know I'm gonna do another two move unboxing. Y'all know that. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Just got a little bit. I know y'all wondering what am I gonna do to review and the test on the other two move lures that I got and different things. And I will. Weather ain't been right for it. We've been getting quite a bit of rain here lately and. When it ain't raining, I'm working. When I ain't working, it's raining. Or it's just too cold. I'm getting old. I can't do this stuff anymore. Well, I can. I just... When I was younger, I'd be out on the lake in the rain and the lightning. And it didn't matter what the weather was like. I'd be out there fishing. Well, no hands don't allow us to do that no more much. So we got to have, have good weather. But, uh... We're going to get to it. You know, we got a couple of nice days coming up. We might have to throw all these lures in the truck, head down to the lake, and just do an all-day test and review. But anyway, got a few things. I've done, done open the package up. I had to look in it. Couldn't remember what all I ordered. Yeah, they're usually, that last shipment I got come in like a day late two days late, something like that, but they done me good. They give me a $5 credit to go towards my next one, so everything I'm fixing to pull out of this, well, nope, I got another package coming that everything I'll pull out of only cost me just a little over six bucks. This one, about $10, $11, $12 maybe. We'll put the prices of everything up there over our shoulder, and that way y'all see what it was, and I'll leave in the comments what the total price was and links on where y'all can get it at. But, all right, enough of my rambling. If y'all want to, if y'all hadn't, hit that subscribe button. You know, hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Share it with your enemies. I don't care who you share it with. Just share it. Uh, hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post something different. And if you really want to see me test these lures, hit that notification bell. That way you'll know. It's just around the corner. I promise y'all I ain't going to keep putting y'all off. My other channel, out uh, Fix It With Paul Paul, we got much stuff going on right now. Just went this weekend. Done a five and a half hour trip one way up to North Georgia to pick up a couple of cars for my son. Originally, the plan was to find a parts car, a donor car, to help fix the one he's got, and we found a runner and a donor. So we went and got both of them, brought them home. 11 miles round trip. That was an all-day ride, and we started late. Didn't get no video of the trip, but I just shot a video of the car sitting out here in the yard. So y'all go over to Outdoors with Papa. Or, I'm doing it again. <clears throat> so y'all go over to fix it with Papa and check that out. Yeah, some nice little cars. It's a uh, what is it, 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider. Got three of them now. We're gonna build two out of one, out of or build two out of three. So y'all go check that out if y'all interested in that kind of stuff. That's also where I fix my reels and my boats and all that kind of good stuff. And yeah. See the camper I got back here. That's the uh, teardrop camper I'm building over there on that channel. I'm almost finished getting the frame ready so that I can start building the walls and the floor. So, y'all check it out. We're going to do us a three week trip on that thing, me and my wife is. And that's coming up this summer. So, anyway, all right. First things first. I do not know what's in this. Let's check it out and see. All right, I remember what I ordered here. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I want to say it was supposed to be a 10 pack of little rubber minnows. Yeah, they don't look too bad. Smells like Timu. 
Got two of the blue and clear with glitter in them. That one come without a tail. I think we know why there's an extra one in here now. Uh, we're going to contact Timu and show them that one of their lures was messed up and see what they want to do. I'm not that worried about it. We got these all over the place. All right, there's that. So let's get on to number two. A little bit bigger package. Let's open this up and see what it is. All right. It's just called Fishing Lure. Don't say how many's in here. Nothing like that. I got my new shop going up outside, and that's where I'm going to have my unboxing counter at. We'll get a better camera set up out there. Can't even get into the cotton picking package. There we go. Oh, strong chemical smell in them. Clear squid. You can, uh, here, let me show them to you. It's a clear squid down here between his tentacles. You got a slot or a hole that you can insert a glow stick. Goes right up in the middle of him. Or you can slide it through that away. <coughs> I thought these were supposed to be uh, glow in the dark. They're not. But anyway, got a five pack of those. So let's get them back in the bag. Got a little oily film on them. We might have to boil them up just to get rid of some of that chemically smell. We're going to slide those right over here. What's next in the bag? Got a box. I don't know quite 100% what this is. It's four pieces, whatever it is. I think I know what this is. Uh, I don't know if it's this package or the next one. I ordered a, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, and more power to you. They're all over the country. These cicada bugs. I ordered a pack of lures. Supposed to have, yep, that's what this is. Got four of them, different colors. Sizes seem about the same. Let's see if we can get them opened up here. Got some small hooks on them. Little sticker on the back of this one. This one's kind of a clear yellow. And it's got little wings. They fold up, they fold out. Oh, well, that ain't good. Wing just fell off of that one. Got a white and green and. Yeah, you got a white belly, dark green back, light green sides. And this other one's kind of an orangish gold color. They're all the same thing, made from the same mold. But we got four of them. Yeah, they ain't how? They ain't a terrible size. They ain't the biggest ones I've seen. They ain't the smallest ones I've seen. Well, that's all four of those. 
like I said, if I ain't already put the price up here, I'll stick it up here again anyway. All right, fellas, if you do a lot of camping and your wife goes with you or your girlfriend goes with you, or ladies, if y'all like to do a lot of camping, but or y'all do a lot of traveling or something like that, and you don't like to squat in the woods, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, something you want to keep in the car for a long road trip, just just in case. I'm not going to open this up. I'm not going to test it. No one, I can't test it. I ordered this for my wife. And, uh, well, let's open it up. This is to help a lady go potty. All right, that's all we're going to do on that. There's a close-up. I'm a little embarrassed showing something like that on my channel, but it's part of life. It says one, two, three, four things. Number five, just a fish-on sticker. Decal to go on your window. I don't know if it'll end up on my window. I don't know if it'll end up on my truck or it'll end up on something. I was just trying to make an order. All right. I remember what this was then. This was one of the deals that Timu likes to send out to everybody who has their app. And in this deal, it was a one free gift, mystery gift. This mystery gift was a brooch. I don't wear brooches. My wife don't wear them. My mama does, so she might like it. You know, it's nice and glittery and pretty. Unless it's free, you won't see me unboxing nothing like that. So let's move on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six items. This is number seven. Really thought this would be much bigger than it is. It is a fishing light. See how small it is? Okay. This light works whenever it hits the water. That's the upside to it. The downside not that bright. Yeah, not great. We'll test it out anyway. I like do night fishing. <coughs> Sorry about it. We'll see how it works out. If we put it close enough to our bait, maybe a catfish would get curious. You don't know. All right, I feel two more things in here. All right, this is a little flashlight. It's rechargeable. Got your charging cable. It's a micro USB. Wish it was a type C. And you got your flashlight. Fairly small, plastic housing. Got the charger port and the button on the back of it. Single LED. I know it's got three modes. Super bright. Mediocre bright. And strobe. That's, strobe don't seem too bad. Brightness don't seem too bad. 
That's on the bright. That's on the dim. And there's the strobe. Be a neat little thing to throw in an overnight bag. Throw in your truck. Just keep it handy in case you need it. Price will be up here over my shoulder. All right. Last but not least, Sea Sky Fishing Premium Quality Lures. This is a four or five pack. I think it's a five pack. Everybody has seen these lures. If you've been on Timu, you've seen these lures. If you have watched Timu unboxings, you have seen these lures. I was curious about them. I want to know how good they actually are. Hey, they ain't got that chemical smell like everything else has. Might have to four or five. All right, we got the orange and peach color. Now, what you do, you put your anchor in the nose of him, you run your line through the hole in the tail here. Got a little hole in the tail. Run your line through that. Put your anchor in his nose. That way, whenever he swims through the water, he goes like this. We're definitely going to try these out. We've got the orange with a peach belly. Not sure what color that is with the cream white belly. And the eyes aren't terrible. They're not going to last. Need to put him in some water. Boiling water. Got the green. It's either dark chocolate or black. Not 100%. Not good with a lot of colors, especially in dim light like I've got in here. And this one is the brown with the gold back or gold belly. So there you have it. The lady thing, the squids, the lures, flashlight. That's our Timu haul. Like I said, it's not a lot. I'm going to edit this video down a little bit shorter. But it's a little bit. And uh, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. Share this. Like it. Keep it going. That way we'll keep on doing them. I got the... Uh, Looks like sun's starting to come back up outside. But uh, we'll get some get some lake time in, try and test some of these lures. Get down to the bay for a little while, check that out. I got a few saltwater lures I got to test. So, Yeah, y'all hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Go over to Fix It With Papa. Get to see some weird stuff going on there. Building some different things, fixing on some different things. Y'all got any questions about anything y'all need help fixing? Give me a holler on that one. Maybe we can put a video up, help you out a little bit. I do a little bit of everything. But my, my joy in life is fishing and my family. Family comes first. Hey, y'all. Little update. After I finished filming this or shooting this video a while ago, I went back online my account with Timu and uh check to see what I could do about those lures that was damaged and they completely refunded the whole cost 
of the uh, of both lures. The ten pack of uh, rubber wor or rubber minnows. They refunded me the full cost and let me keep them. The uh, wing that came off of the cicada. They refunded the full four ninety nine and let me keep them. I could have done it uh, cash back to my account or cash back to my card. Would have took six to seven business days. Or I could do it credit to my Timu account. So I done credit to the Timu account before I ever got finished with the transaction. It was already back on my account. So now I get that much off of my next order. So far, I ain't had no complaints with Timu. They've held up to their end. Customer service ain't bad. As long as you're doing it online, I ain't tried actually talking to a person yet. So that's my review on Timu itself. I like them. I ain't got no complaints with them right now. So why don't you say we finish this video up? This is Pawpaw saying, y'all have a good one, and we'll see you next time.